Hello, I'm Terry Downs, and I'm going to demonstrate the use of a software tool called Audacity to edit uh, some guitar audio for slowing down a lick and being able to learn it easier and also archive the lick. Audacity is a free uh, audio editor that you can download from the internet. I think it's a pretty good application for being free. Uh, has uh, your standard play, stop, and pause buttons, uh, some VU meters, a uh, way to zoom in and out of the um, audio wave file. I'll start by opening up a file from the file menu, file open, and I'm selecting Oh Baby Mine, I Get So Lonely, which is a Chet Atkins instrumental from probably the late 60s to the early 70s. It's now importing the mp3 file and I'm going to start by trimming out all of the audio in this entire song to only um, have the lick remaining. I happen to know that this uh, lick occurs somewhere around 109 so I'm going to click in that area. I'm going to play it and make sure that it's in the place that I remembered. And it is. so. I'll start at that point and slide over that leading audio with the mouse and delete it by doing edit delete or you can just hit the delete key. Now I'll, st I'll click back at the front again and we'll figure out how to further trim it. Okay, I want to stop it there. So I'll select the line here, drag it and delete and then I'll zoom in on it with the zoom tool here which is the little uh, magnifying glass with the plus sign and then I'll do some detailed trimming after I play it again I have to put the cursor up front so I'm getting pretty close I'm going to delete that and delete this part in the front. Let's see what we've got. Now it's trimmed. Now I'll slow the lick down and we'll do this by selecting the audio. Either uh, uh, select using the mouse to drag over it or um, I usually do control A which is uh, select all. From the effect menu, select change tempo. There's a variety of ways to change the tempo. You can slide a bar, or you can eat. Uh, you can put in beats per minute from and to. And I usually like to do about uh, minus seventy percent, so you get thirty percent of the original speed. You can press the uh, preview key, preview button, uh, to hear what it's going to sound like. If you if you change it if you, if you change the pitch much slower than that, it really chops up the sound. And of course, if you uh, change it less, then uh, obviously you can't pick out the notes as as easy. So I usually wind up with seventy percent. That seems to work pretty good for the most part. So I'll uh, click on OK and let it process. Now I should have a slowed down lick. Okay, that sounds like that will work, um, but the but the lick has a lot of bass and a lot of high frequency symbols that you don't need uh, for you just need to hear the guitar. So I'm going to filter out everything but the guitar, or well everything I can uh, away from the guitar. I'll just use a bandpass filter response. I would normally use an FFT filter in applications like this, but for some reason. Audacity decided to have the frequency axis uh, linear so the part that I'm interested in is in a small spot so it's very hard to to set the filter so instead I'm going to use uh, equalization from the effect menu and to make a, uh, a bandpass filter I'll just select four spots on the curve and 
make a uh, bandpass type filter. I'm going to make this starting point at about 300 hertz and chop that off really tight. And then I'll make the upper end at about 3 kilohertz. One, two, three, and make a square bandpass response. I can preview that. Okay, I think that will work. I gave it a little bit of an amplitude boost too because some of the amplitude will be thrown away because you're uh, deleting the, the, the upper and lower part of the spectrum. Now it's performed the equalization and we should have what we need. Great. So I will export this as a WAV file. Um, I would like to export it as an MP3, but you have to download a special DLL uh, to make that happen. So for now, I'll just do uh, the WAV file. And I'll pin the word augmented to the file name because it's, this is an augmented lick uh, that I want to learn. If you'd like to learn the lick inside Audacity, uh, you can loop the lick by uh, pressing the, the shift key and pressing play, which will put it in loop mode. That's it.